They've got Spotify on, or Apple Music, or the old Ticker Tocker. Who are these geniuses at the BBC? They Hi, it's me again. And yet most people who pay the TV license fee are sort of middle-aged, like 35 and up, maybe 40 and up, for the, for the biggest group of payers of the license fee. The kids who are getting their first place or moving out to university, whatever, no interest in paying for a license fee. They're not interested in broadcast TV. So what happens when us all oldies peg out in 10, 20 years and there's no one left paying a license fee? He needs to bring in the kids. And that's why he's so obsessed with being relevant. Tim David, a boss of the BBC, says he only cares about the corporation being relevant. He doesn't care about ratings or anything. He just wants to be relevant because he needs to be relevant with the kids because they are the license fee payers of the future. In that spirit, look at this. BBC Radio 1 announces first ever TikTok takeover on Christmas Day. What genius came up with that plan in a BBC meeting? You can see it, can't you? All the old stuffy shirts in their 50s and their 60s sitting around a boardroom table going, we need to reach the kids. What are the kids? Oh, they're doing the ticker tockers. Let's, let's do some TikToking. Who can we get? Who can we get? That's the best way to reach the kids. Not make good TV shows that they actually might want to watch and you could possibly convert them into watching broadcast TV or using iPlayer a bit more. No, let's go on the old ticker tocker. That'll fix it. <laughs> on Christmas Day, two till six, Radio One will be hosting its first ever TikTok takeover with 11 TikTok tick. I can't even, it's too many T's. With 11 TikTok sensations from the worlds of comedy, entertainment, and music set to take part. Right, it's going to list the 11 TikTok sensations that they've got. And um, being 41, nearly 42 in a week, I don't know any of them. Plus, I don't really use TikTok. I have a TikTok account. I put a few bits on there, but I can't be dealing with watching it. I, can't, I just can't be dealing with watching it. I have no idea what is going on on there. No idea at all. Right, let's have a look at some of these. Fats Timbo, Watson D. Hirschfield, Anastasia, Kings North, Chooks, George, Joe Bags, Maddie Grace. Uh, I don't know. They will take to the airwaves, giving fans the opportunity to hear their favourite TikTok stars in a completely different light. They will each bring the party to Radio 1 and soundtrack the Christmas celebrations across the UK. So this is Christmas Day, right? This is Christmas Day. And the users of TikTok are what? 12 to 24? I don't know. I don't know the full demographic for it, but that sounds about right, doesn't it? Now, are they going to be listening to Radio 1 between 2 and 6, was it? Yeah, between 2 and 6, on Christmas Day. Do you think that? Do you think that? Or are they going to be watching these people on TikTok themselves on their brand new iPhone that they got for Christmas, or their new iPad? Do you think that's what they'll be doing? Are kids going to be listening to Christmas Day Radio 1. Is this going to pull them in? What do you think? I've got my ideas on it, and no, I don't see it. If these kids want to watch their favourite TikTok star, they'll watch it on their phone, won't they? While mum's cooking dinner or whatever, and the family are playing board games, and, you know, they're stroppy teenagers and don't want to get involved, they're not going to be sitting there with their earphones in listening to Radio Bloody 1, are they? What kid listens to Radio 1 anyway? What 15-year-old do you know that listens to Radio 1? They've got Spotify on, or Apple Music, or the old Ticker Tocker. Who are these geniuses at the BBC? They need to get some younger people in. If you want to reach the young people, consult some young people. You can't have people my age and older sitting around a boardroom table coming up with these ideas. It's not going to work. I'll tell you what, I am getting old, though. I'm just looking at the rest of this article. I'm not going to read it all out. Don't worry. But it says here... From Boxing Day until New Year's Day, the station will be showcasing the best in new and emerging talent. And it's um, it's got a list of the new and emerging talent. And that's how old I am. I don't have a bloody clue. <laughs> I am so old. And because I don't have kids, I don't have, I get exposed to all of this. I just don't, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> have a look. I'll, put, I'll pin this article, because it's on BBC's own Media Centre website, right? I'll pin it in the... Um, in the description thing. Go and have a look, and you tell me if you know any of these people. Because I don't. Oh, I'm so old. I'm so old. And the problem is, the people at the BBC must be old too, because I don't think this is going to help them reach the younger people, do you? Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon. Or well, you can check my TikTok if you like. Ta-da.